Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Arena Time. And I've been doing dungeon runs for so long, I can't really remember what I played last, but uh, we're just going to go through it. Because why not? Arena run. Um, let's take the Devil's Sarag. Probably won't have good uses for it, but who knows. Do I want to go Jade stuff? Do I want to go with really, really shitty minions that suck? Or the Phoenix, which is also pretty good. Elemental or Jade? I'm going to regret it all because I always go that way, but I'd rather. I think I'm going to take the Phoenix instead of the Jade Blossom. It's just going to give me Jade never ending from now on. 2 1 1, sp one 2 Poisonous Spiders. I feel like that's too expensive. I'd rather have a gigantic guy for even if it costs more mana. Uh, Crypt Lord is taunty, but he can't smash things with a dam. Long Neck. Can I get myself enough guys to make this guy? Even then, he's kind of, he's usually not great unless you get an adapt that gives him a defensive thing, and there aren't many of those. There's stealth, in which case he's not a great minion, or there's plus three health, obviously, then he's awesome, or divine shield, situational. Do I want to go with him? I don't know. Just take the rock pool hunter and have like a two, three. Uh, let's take the long neck. He's definitely more interesting, but I don't know. Silver Vanguard. That's a great death rattle if you have something to copy death rattles, but I don't know what, uh, like, it's only exactly eight cost minions. That seems like a poor choice right now for the arena, although I'm sure just get some eights. It could be strong, but no. I'm going to take the Frost Rider because, I don't know, he's cool. Astral Tiger. People pointed out to me this is act what this is good for is recruit. So you don't recruit yourself out of having stuff in your deck to recruit. But that it's just a three five with no abilities basically. Four four for five. If you've cast a big expensive spell, then he's free. <coughs> Am I gonna have any big expensive spells? I don't know. But you're garbage. Ugh. Unless you get boosted all the hell. I'd even then you wreck it. You're not good for battle cries. Do I get stuck taking a shit tiger? That's really shitty. Let's take the arcane tyrant because he's more interesting. Also, I've got two elementals now. We scale is just plus one plus one. Although it does also serve the purpose of giving me a bunch of armor. Oh, the greedy sprite is new and good. It was 3-1 for 3, which is normally crap, but when he dies, I gain a mana crystal. It gives you ramp that way. So that's kind of good, even though it doesn't immediately give you the ramp. Uh, Dragon Slayer in the arena might not be too bad. 4-4 four, four for 4 and heal 4 is not bad at all either, but let's take the Dragon Slayer is more interesting. Although I've got too many 3s, not enough other stuff. Let's take Plated Beetle. So armor. Not a huge claw fan. What the... Come on, computer. Oh, it's taking time to load the legendary crap. Okay, Trick of the World Tree. If you, if you play it on turn four, exactly, and you attack turn four, and then you attack four other times, you'd get your ten mana crystals at turn, like, eight. Like, that's not good unless you have some way to combo this thing. Am I going to have minion buffs for the Vorax? Probably not a... Not a lot, anyway. I didn't take the other thing. I think I'm going to actually just take Shifter Zeras. He's super random, but the fact that he changes every turn gives you a lot of chances for him to be something good. Uh, even though this is way less mana efficient than Claw, it does kill more. Uh, Sleepy Dragon is just so overcost compared to the Mastodon, right? I guess it's... I guess you look at the numbers and it adds up the same, but 6 attack kills a lot of things. 4 attack does not kill that much for a minion that is that expensive. Although, if I like the Macedon, you can definitely make a better argument for the Sleepy Dragon than I thought you could. I don't know. Uh, do I take that? I think I take this because I haven't been taking the killing stuff. No, I get another chance. Dragon Slayer? Dragon. Dragon Slayer? Great. Well, it would take two of her to kill this, so I guess we'll just take that. War Golem does suck. Um, I'll have a lot of fatness if I get you. I don't have any spells for you. 
I don't have a lot of four cost stuff, so he'd be not bad. But let's take Boulder Fist. Let's get get our smashing in there. No, I don't think this guy is going to be the thing for my deck. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of weenies or whatever. Let's, let's take the Jade Blossom this time. No, I skipped the previous one. Just more, just for the Mana Crystal, really. Uh, not a huge fan of Spreading Plague. Do I have enough beasts for this guy? We're going to start. I've got one that turns into a beast. Three, two and a half, we'll call it. And then a, a big beast. I could get more beasts, though. I, I think I can make this guy work. This is pretty situational, although super powerful. This is fairly situational. Let's, let's take him. Whatever. You are definitely not the best, like, poisonous guy, but I guess you're not terrible? You give me a lot more stats for the cost. I already have a lot of threes. I'm kind of inclined to take this guy, even though I'm looking for these. The Fungal Mancer, he's going to have... you got to have two guys with him. If you have two guys, then it's pretty good. If you have one guy, then it's plus two, plus two on something that might be able to attack right away. And just a two-two. You know, he's not that bad, though. And he would work with the Devil's Sore Egg, for example. Having two things alive seems probably hard, because my deck's going to be pretty slow. I feel like in the arena, this guy's got a lot more justification for existing, though. Ah. They don't know. I got nothing to trigger this guy. He's going to be expensive. Ah. No, I'm going to take the Grim Necromancer anyway. Uh, that doesn't help, because it's got to be a weapon. That is a beast, but it's expensive. And I, have, but I, like, I have expensive stuff that I like better than him. So I'm going to take the Novice Engineer. Cycle that card. Blood Room is a beast. If I boost this thing, that's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, that that's that takes work. I mean, I don't really like Feral Rage. I'd rather have one of the ones that has the armor built in. I'm not usually going to take eight armor, so it's, like, expensive for attack. <coughs> you know, and I have, like, nothing. I have so little in here that's cheap. Maybe I should take that crap archer to shoot something for one. Nah, I'm not doing that. Whatever. Blood Worm. It will just be too expensive and I'll lose. That's fine. Um, only you can turn. It's just a 3 3 untargetable. I don't, I don't even have my own buffs for it, so it's not that big a deal. Dirty Rat is going to screw me in the arena. Let's take the Ooze. There are a lot of bad weapons. Does he actually blow it up? Yes. Okay. I just had this horrible thought afterwards. There's some guys that do, like, that knock a use off of a weapon without instantly killing it. That's pretty crap. So I can take one of these, because they would allow me to play the Arcane Tyrant for free. And they're okay. He is cheaper, which I'm lacking, and he's pretty damn good for a two... Like, it's hard to beat him for a two-cost minion. But maybe I'm going to need this stuff. You know what, I don't have that much for blowing up, like, waves of minions or whatever. Oh, this guy so overcosted. I can take another greedy sprite. The Lotus agents. I need the cheaper stuff more though. The greedy sprite will help me get out my other fat expensive things. The Dreamer. She's cool. I don't think I can have ways to make her work. Right. You'd have to have a five a five attack minion out, and then she's a five five for three, which is sweet. But that's gonna take some work. Um. Weapons. I'm gonna take the lone champion. He's pretty good. He's he's just a two four for three, if he's the only minion, which is not that hard because he that helps you actually when you're behind, a little bit of comeback by coming out as a two four taunt divine shield. We'll we'll see. It'll probably be a pain in the ass to make it happen, but it's in theory it's okay. Six armor and recruit a minion that costs four or less. Well, I got a lot of minions that cost four or less, but this stuff's all like battle cries. Well, get, getting him would be good. Yeah, this seems like crap. Uh, Savage Roar is pretty good. Actually, I already got a lot of cheap stuff. Stick the Roar. I mean, that's probably not going to work out in my deck. Innervate, not as good as it used to be. Swipe, definitely still as good as it used to be. Um, another Plated Beetle or the Scalebane. Scalebane is super strong. you got to have minions alive for it. I just don't have enough stuff. Plus, I've got a guy that cares about beasts. I'm going to need the, the armor will help me to survive a little bit longer to get to my late game, so I'm going to go with that. I currently have one Jade card. Could have been two, but.
but that's still not enough to make this guy worthwhile. Let's take the Starfire. I could get Cheap Elemental Dude, plus it can kill things. Living Mana is a crazy card I don't think I want to prioritize. The Enchanter is pretty cool, but I don't think I have anything in my deck that cares. I don't think I have any end of turn effects. Ranging Path is pretty interesting, though. It's an over. It can be used as an overpriced draw two cards, or I could gain twelve armor for six for four mana, which if I need the armor is pretty effective. Or I could give all my minions plus two attack, like permanent. Or I could choose sort of like half of one and half of another, basically. You're not. I'm describing the card backwards, but that's how it actually works, as far as I'm concerned. Let's let's take that given the choices. Hoarding Dragon, how bad is this going to backfire on me? I'm lacking in fours. I really am. I actually have some stuff for killing now, although the Claw would still be good for early game killing. Uh, I'm going to take the Stupid Dragon, even though it's stupid. Probably screw me. You're terrible. Um, you are cheap, but I'm going to go with the Starfire. More power, whatever. And... Yeah, you're definitely the best card out of these. The question is, do I take this Reeking Shroom to help me with my early game issues? You are so expensive. Not good. So one, two for three. It comes with a free one-cost minion at random, basically, because it's going to do that every turn that's alive. I don't think I can justify it over Lotus Agents. Okay, my deck's going to be too expensive and I'm going to lose. I do have three cards to give me more mana. So, we'll see how that works, but yeah, mostly deck's going to be too expensive, going to lose. So that's our plan. Our plan is to go big and then go home. If you know how to get me a Diet Coke, spons Diet Coke sponsorship, then you know, let, let me know. Pretty sure they don't care about someone of my size. Even though my actual channel is ten times the size of this, that's still not big in YouTube terms. Speaking of not big, the speed of my computer. Yeah. Okay. Hunter, I'm sure that rush isn't going to be a problem for my slow-ass deck. I mean, I guess if he could run out of steam and I could win. Okay, that's a lot of mana stuff. Let's see if I get killed in the first two turns. I'm obviously not going to get killed in the first two turns, but I could get, like, murderized to the point that I'm not going to accomplish much. Candle shot does not concern me particularly. Now, which do I go with first, this guy or this? It depends what my opponent has. I mean, he can just candle shot the 1-1, one, one, so it's kind of pointless. He can candle shot the 3-1, but at least he takes damage doing that. I could just coin this out and start beating him down, but I'm clearly going to be the slower player. So this is a 1-1. One, one. Next turn I'd have 4 mana. I could play him and nothing really else, so... I'm going to do this. I, I'm going to do him. Didn't matter what I did, my guys were not going to survive. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, should I just deploy some fatness to deal with his like stuff? I probably should be doing the mana crystal. And if this, if he kills this, it's going to be bad because he's going to get those coins and make me sad. But I don't know. Next turn, I can do that and that, or that and kung fu. Okay, so his deck has four cost cards, so that didn't do much for him. Oh no, it doesn't. No, he he did get it. Wow. Um. Well, that's uh, pretty unfortunate. It's not like I can heal this guy. He'd be much better as a priest. So he's gonna get those coins and go super crazy on me. Oh well. And, and 
let's see how badly I get stomped by his potential seven mana play with those coins. Uh, that's pretty ugly. Saving your coins is going to do a crazy eight mana play, which is also bad. Yeah, let's see if I draw anything cool. Okay, that, that I'm glad to have that because whatever he does next is going to be nuts. Uh, we'll just kill this for now. Right, let's play this because it's the one that uses my mana there. So he's going to play the thing that gives you three uh, pets. I'm assuming that's what he's using, going to use those coins for. It's like an epic card. Somewhat lowers the chances of him having it, but if it comes up in a row, you're going to take it in the arena, right? I guess you could play a big dinosaur. Really? That's unexpected. So you've got like eight drops in there. Okay, Zera someday will become something useful, but not right now. Um, I'm okay freezing this guy because he's just going to suicide his 3-3 into it anyway. And I'm at full health, so I don't really need his life. Like, if, if that deters him from trading the 3-3, it'd be interesting. I guess he could trade the 3-3 for, like, 4-4 four, four, and then and then candle shot it, but at least that would be gone then. I don't know, but whatever comes out from her is going to be terrible for me. Assuming that he was able to combo her. See, that's the thing. If you already had one or two eight-cost minions, and then you saw her, then she might be a pretty good choice for the arena. Uh, looks like he got nothing. Okay, that's pretty annoying, actually. That is a problem. So it was the Hydra. Wow, that's uh, badness. He's not very good because my guy's not good. That Hydra is really bad. I'm thinking I should kill it, even though I really wish I could get rid of that thing. Uh, I'm just gonna play him without the thing. He doesn't have taunt. He doesn't have bubble. He sucks now. So what are you gonna do? I was worried about those coins, but the fact that he had the he had that seven seven in his deck and either doesn't have any eight cost minions or they're in his hand already. If they're in his hand, he should have been able to cast them with the coin. Oh, okay, I guess there was no reason. Fair enough. Uh, I can draw some cards with that later. For now. Boing. Mastodon. Mastodon. Giant standing taunt war. Yours may be a better card, but mine is bigger right now as they stand, since, they, since your battle cry is spent. I'm at full health, which is a good sign, because usually the hunter wants to be the one rushing you somewhat. Oh, that sucks. Okay, you did have to use that. That's. Could have been worse, I guess. Not gonna be that anymore. What is he? Crap. At some point, he ought to turn into something decent. Let's uh, draw two cards. Get to do them one at a time. Ah, oh, the awesomeness. So this is just a bad minion now. I'm pretty sure it doesn't trigger the excess mana. Uh, I do I gnash that thing or do, I think I'm gonna gnash that thing. I don't want to play this when he's got four mana, like dead man walking sort of minion there. Oh, I mean a four attack minion that just sitting around. Pretty much 
much easier for me to go. Okay. This is interesting. We're both playing with garbage here, but theoretically, Zeras should, over the course of four or five turns, turn into something decent. Oh, you got a secret for your thing. But you don't have a way to make me not just, like, trade this guy for it. So that's okay. Not really what I'm looking for. He would have been good with his last form, his earlier form, the, uh, the whatever, the Steward of Darkshire, or whatever that thing is. Um, let's smash this. Okay, so secret. Uh, now I'm kind of worried about that secret, so I'm going to play this. You getting sniped or something? Yes, no, okay. Boulder. There's some stuff. I can try and trigger the secret with one of the 1-1s. One so what do you got? Two wolves that upgraded? No. Let's upgraded. Play. Get off the. Wait. Play a secret to upgrade. He drew that after the secret. That's gotta be annoying. Okay. Fork would give me a weapon, which is funny, not super useful. Okay. Step one determine a secret. You got a crappy three guys, man. Okay. I could use this. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to finish that. I hit you for six. Play an egg. Yeah. Let's play the long neck, too, because why not? Being a little aggro here, but if I can, if I have more minions out, like I, I should have killed one of the three threes probably, but uh, put some pressure on. But no, it's mostly dumb. I probably should have just killed one of the three threes. Possibly just killed both of them. But I'd like the uh, yeah. I don't know. I have had a feeling he would want to use them to take these guys. Getting the random death rattle. Okay, he probably got that first. That's actually a pretty good death rattle to get. He probably got that first and then took the seven cost thing, thinking he could get that death rattle, but of course he never got any eights, so got boned. Okay, you have coined. What are you coining? So this guy, when he dies, is going to do three damage to one of my minions at random. That's pretty annoying. Oh! Yeah, I knew he was in trouble. I did get it, I did it right. If my opponent was going to use the wolves to kill him, then I did the right thing. You suck. That is not what I need. So if I do this, let uh, me attack with that. You didn't kill the five one. I can keep the five one out there for beating on you. You have no cards left. Let's go with this. Oh, uh, it's going to die, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to lose my thing. Okay, let's, let's do this. We'll leave that alive. Oh, wait, leaving that alive is dumb. But now this thing could maybe... Okay, we got to take it out. Come on, Zerus, give me something big. Come on, miss my 7-1. It can only hit minions, so it's probably killing my 7-1 while my computer lags. No, it missed. Which is probably a good thing unless my opponent gets, I don't know, an explosive trap. That would suck. That also sucks. This is going to go down to the wire with us both incompetently damaging each other. Do you, Nine cards left. Do I just want to go with the card drawing from that? I know that I want to go with buffing one of my beasts. Sweet. Um, uh, yeah, card, drawing cards is good. Yeah, this game's not going to go very long. Let's go draw those cards. I have an army, and I've got two cards per turn. One 
one of my guys has some hit points, so an area spell shouldn't kill everything. I've got 16 health, so I shouldn't just explode from anything in particular. Nice. Okay, he's going to surrender. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Well, we did a thing. He had a pretty slow-ass, like, start for his hunter deck, though. And he did nothing with the coins that I gave him, and, yeah. He had a lot of problems. So we're going to see what happens when I run into probably a much more dangerous opponent next time. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button. Or, on your touchscreen, please lick the like button. Warning, licking the touchscreen is not recommended. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.